in the first place. And uh, now it's quite improved in 16 version, although we have 15.6 and it's working fine. So this is my disclosure statement. I don't have any financial relationship with any of uh, marketing or any uh, distributors. The agenda of uh, today's presentation is, uh, I'll give you the overview of MCU. Then uh, we talk about clinical MCU workflow method for evaluation trade of exploration, it's, uh, it's kind of hands-on, which I will go through. Uh, then we'll talk about some results and discussion. So multi-criteria optimization based trade of exploration is a clinical decision support tool. Developed in the collaboration with Frank Hofer Institute for Industrial Mathematics, Germany. And to my knowledge, uh, it, was it is available in Eclipse and also in the research uh, I don't know about uh, Monaco or other uh, uh, planning tools available on market. So contain, it contains several algorithms which treat the treatment planning problem as a multi-objective optimization problem. The starting point is a promising looking plan which we have already made from IMRT or VMAT. Uh, and you are comfortable by, uh, with that plan for showing to the doctor. So this plan serves as a center of approximation of the Pareto surface. It enables clinician to quickly improve the plan quality by bal balancing clinical trade-off. So what is Pareto surface? It's a concept or in MCO. Any treatment plan balances the different trade-off objective regarding tumor coverage and sparing of OAR in certain way. Balances these objective in an efficient manner if no trade-off objective can be improved without worsening some other trade-off objective. So it's a kind of give and take in some of the cases, especially on those cases where there's uh, overlapping structures and uh, it's uh, tough for the decision making. And uh, so in that case, we have to give up some of the organ or uh, it's uh, save other organs. Uh, in some cases, we have to reduce the uh, target dose as well. It depends on the clinical decision. So entirely of the treat, uh, treatment plan that are efficient with respect to certain fixed trade off objective is called Pareto surface. So I'll try my level best to explain this concept, although I'm not an expert in this subject right now. Uh, I'm also a beginner, so uh, I'll try. So the original optimization, the balance plans. Once you have made the plan, then <clears throat> you run the MCO and the system will generate the balance plan out of your uh, best plan. So it's a, so you can see the mouse, uh, I think it's going to pointer, yeah. So this line is a Pareto surface and uh, our plan is lying someone, some, uh, somewhere here. So uh, calculation of the substitute plan are done uh, by this algorithm is, uh, if there is an only one object, so there is N, F2 object, it will move simultaneously. And it works like that, that uh, number of objective you've selected is an N. So it multiply with three and plus one, generated the basic steps. So it generate three N plus one plans um, for you, uh, depend on how many objective you have selected and uh, how many objective you want to uh, trade off. So in this way, it will work. So uh, this is an example of uh, two objective only. The one is a target, another is OAR. And uh, you are navigating your uh, trade off in this Pareto surface. So the first one is like this. So simultaneously improve F1 and F2 along with other objective. So our balance plans is here. And now we are trying to improve. F1 and F2 simultaneously. So if you go in this direction, this is a target and this is an OAR. So improve the plan for F2 by 20% of the treatment dose. And again, uh, if we go with this one, so it is simultaneously improve uh, both of both the object. So navigate along the interpret surface, you may got something hit somewhere here. And this is how the plans were generated. It is scattered all around the Pareto surface. 
and you have to select one of it out of it by sliding uh, by the slider which uh, MCO gives to you. And we will uh, talk about that thing later. So we'll take the example of Chiasm and uh, here it tried to navigate. So improve the plan with respect to F1 target minimum. Whereas this is an approximation along the Pareto surface. And this here is a balanced plan. And this is an improved if optic chiasm want to improve. So either ways it will go. So we have to find out the solution in between. So maybe you could get the solution here. The new plan could be interpolate of weighting of neighbor plans. And uh, this is how it will work as a slider. There is a bar and you can move the slider up and down. Uh, right and left, sorry. And this is what you are expecting. That uh, OAR will reduce all around uh, most of the cases, not in the most of the cases, but in some of the cases, uh, maximum is 20%, 20 to 30%. And this is what we expect from the target. And this is how we'll get the quality or the best plan. So what's the workflow of MCO? Begin with the standard plan of IMRT and VMAT. After optimization, you can calculate the dose and evaluate your or directly click the explore trade-off button to run MCO tools. Select the objective in which you want to trade off. Example, upper, lower, mean dose objective or GUD if you like and target homogeneity can be selected. So this is a typical workflow. We already uh, talked about this thing yesterday, contouring, beam define and prescription, which is, which is quite important in this part as well. And if you haven't made a good medical physics contour part, you haven't covered that part, then of course you may not get a good plan in MCU as well. So optimization workspace again, PO, define optimization uh, objectives. And uh, there are three options that you could go through depending on what you have. If you have this uh, license rapid plan, then you go, go with that. Or if you have made templates in your department, then of course you can select the templates. And uh, either way, if you want to go manually, then of course this is the path you have to go with. And afterwards you will go to the MCO. So this is a recommendation that first you have made your best plan and then go to the MCO. But there is an option that you can go directly and MCU will uh, itself create the balance plan out of what you give uh, the objective and the PTV and the priority you have set. So afterwards, uh, uh, the two ways, if you want to go trade off, then of course, uh, once you click the trade off, this is a window, it, it will appear. Here is a trade off, uh, explore trade off button. First, you have to click this, then this window will appear. <coughs> and in this window, you have to select your objectives. So the PTV upper, lower and homogeneity, you should select all these three. And then objective, whatever the objectives in that particular plan. And uh, also you can select the rings or uh, avoiding sector if you like. Then uh, if you have a GPU in your system, uh, it will be good. Uh, then it will take less time. Uh, so you have to select hybrid optimization or use GPU. Either ways, like uh, in the old system, I think the use GPU and hybrid is the separate option, but now in the uh, latest versions, uh, hybrid optimization cover the GPU. Without GPU, it, will, it may take two to three R depending on how many number of objective you, will, you have select. But if you have a GPU option, then it will uh, reduce your time uh, apparently, and uh, more, uh, half an hour it will be it will be done. Or if there is only one objective, for example, one or two objective, then it may take ten to five minutes. So uh, once you fill it up this thing, then it will calculate the balance plan, and it will take time. And then this window will appear with the sliders and the DVH, and also there is a window. Uh, uh, along with that, uh, the way, same way in the PO of the transfer plane of the CT. So then you, uh, here are the sliders and the, if you move toward the left, it will, the it will become better. 
uh, for the PTV or the OAR, whatever you move, it will it will go better. If you move toward the right, it will go worse. And uh, once you start moving toward the, towards the left, some of the objective will move toward the right and it will show that there is a, this is what the trade-off is. There is a button uh, here and uh, this button allow you to generate more plans if you like. If you are not satisfied with the available plans and you may click this button with the, uh, for that specific objective and it will uh, recalculate itself and uh, it may generate more plans. And uh, you will uh, navigate with that. If you are not comfortable, you want to go back, you can click reset wait. Or if you want to go back to the interactive optimization, you can click here. So once uh, you are done with the, uh, you have fixed all the stuff, then uh, you will click OK and it will start creating deliverable VMAT plan. And it will take time around 10 to 15 minutes, maybe. And then it will calculate the dose for you. So once a navigate trade off uh, selected objective complete, exit the MCO and calculate the final dose. So we'll uh, start with the case one and uh, starting two cases, I will show in this PowerPoint and then uh, on third cases, I will give you a hands-on. So the first case is trade off exploration, only one objective uh, in, the, in this case. So the two target PTV and vertebra need to be covered. This is a Pete's patient and uh, of the lymphoma, uh, spleen and the lung. But my main focus in this, uh, uh, I'm showing you only a spleen, which is uh, closer to the left kidney. And this is what the physician want to save. So this is, uh, it look like, so this is a slice number 8.6. And you can see there's a PTV and uh, here's a kidney. So this is the original plan which I have made with the good PTV coverage and try to reduce the dose on the kidney. So this is a 8.6 slice, this is a 9.6 slice, then 10.2 and 11 point something. So here you can see. Um, so now I try to reduce the dose to the kidney. So it reduce the dose to the PTV. It, uh, you can see the blue line is a 50% of isodose line and it confine a bit. You can see the difference. And this is the last one is an MCO. So MCO gave you a sharp fall off here. So you can appreciate that thing. And this difference you can see in the DVH as well. So this is an MCO and this is the original plan. This is a plan with uh, less PTV coverage. This is a better PTV coverage. And this is an MCO plan. Here you can see it is a coverage is good. And also the kidney dose is also reduced. So it's around 22% uh, kidney dose was reduced. The other organs are liver, uh, but uh, it's not significant difference between both the plans because it's not uh, coming in the PT, close, not closer to the PTV. So this is the first case. The second case is again pediatrics and pediatrics uh, physicians are usually very concerned about the OAR doses, even though the doses are quite low, but still they want to reduce as more as more as possible. So another case is a lung, both lungs are treated. So the lungs are uh, uh, it's around the heart. So uh, we want to reduce the dose to the heart and uh, the this is a paper, uh, one of the papers said the most significant reduction in the dose to AR have been for our young patient, for example, where we are trying to treat the whole lung while reducing the dose to the heart. So this is a case, here you can see the lung and here is the heart. And this is an MCO plan, you can see the blue lines. So the low cold dose is, uh, cold, cold was done here, but here I couldn't make uh, such a difference. A simple VMAT plan, and this is a DVH difference. Here you can see again, this is a 15 to six, uh, around 20% difference in a hard dose. Although the mean dose difference is not much, but the low dose region, you can see the difference. And the coverage is same for both the plants.
Now the third case, uh, I want to show you the RMS, rhabdomyosarcoma, and the PTV dose is 50.4 in 28 fraction. And the OAR are both lung, heart, esophagus, and rest of the volume. So I would like to share my screen. So you can see the screen here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So first I will show you the volume and uh, kindly ignore the name and the MR of the Sir, patient. we cannot see. Okay. Now? No, sir, we cannot see your screen. Okay. Mm. Yes, sir, we can see it now. Okay, this is the volume. And I've used four arcs, uh, two partial arcs and two full arcs. Now I'll go take you to the optimization and uh, I'll show you the MCO um, trade off exploration. So here you can see um, it's a balanced plan. I haven't done anything yet in this. So so first of all, what I have learned uh, is uh, if you are comfortable with your PTV, then uh, fix your PTV first, first and drag the left to set the upper limit. So we are going to set the upper limit for our 95. And as I move toward the left, you have seen that some of the stuff are reduced, some of the OAR, uh, capabilities are reduced, so we can't move uh, from here. We can't move from here. Or now if I'll try to improve my PTV further, so you will see the difference in a form of dotted line. And you can see the greens here. Everything is moving on the left. So moving the PTV effect all other OAR as well. And you can visually see this thing. So I'll open uh, the other objectives, heart and the uh, left lung and the right lung. Here you can see, this is a dotted line of the original plan, the balanced plan. And this is what happened when I move the PTV. So you can see visually on both the windows and the DVH and also on the transverse plane and you can navigate along to see what happened on each and every slice. So now I, I want to improve the homogeneity of the PTV as well. So I'll move this thing and I'll check what's the limit now. So you can see the V20 is reducing. And I want, if I want a better V20, then of course I have to compensate on the homogeneity. So now I'll move the V20 or right lung is a healthy lung. So I'll try to move right lung first. So here you can see the homogeneity is moving towards the right and all other left lung also moving towards the right.
So this is how you try to get the best plan out of what you have made. And you also try verify everything here as well. Here you can see the PTV quality is now reduced. The PTV is now reduced from here. So I can improve this by moving 100 part. And uh, you can see it is now going back. And if you want to move further, you can move here. And uh, if you move 100, so now, So this can be done in such a way that, uh, for example, I left here and I'll calculate. Then I'll check the dose, uh, deliverable dose doses on the plan. And uh, if I see that there is no hotspot or any clinks out of PTV, then of course I can come back and make it reduce further. Or if you have an experience, then of course you can navigate as a whole in a one time go and then you will calculate your plan. So now I'm moving SO figures, although it's not of such a concern, but moving SO figures it doesn't move, uh, other objectives are not moving. So it's no harm to move or reduce the dose on SO figures further. So this is how you navigate in this. Uh, if you want to reduce the spinal cord dose here, you can see you're moving spinal cord and nothing is moving along with it, so you can reduce further. So this is how it works. If uh, you're not happy with that, then of course you can go back or reset weight. So it will go back to the original setting. And then you will uh, click OK. So it will calculate the starting deliverable VMAT plan creation and it will take time. So now I'll take you to another example. Uh, in the previous three examples, I've shown you the difference, uh, it, which it gives a big difference. It gives about around 20% difference. But in this case, you may not found any difference. So it depends um, in what are the best cases of MCU. You have to go to, to read the papers and you may uh, set your own guideline for your department. So in what cases you will go with. So I'll try another case. Uh, this is an SIB case of uh, prostate and uh, the, there will be two volumes in it. So 45 and uh, 68, 45 and 25 and 6,825 section. So this is the volume. And this is uh, its original plan, which is not uh, run an MCO. This is what the plan is. And uh, I have prepared its MCO plan later uh, when I started uh, working on MCO. So uh, what I found is uh, I'll show you the TVH. So first I'm comparing the ladder. So here you can see uh, it improved a bit on the lower side. Now we'll check the bowel bag, it's same. The femoral is improved. The right femoral is also improved with the lower part and the lower doses. 
PTB coverage is same, so I'm not showing uh, that thing. And the rectum is also improved, but very less uh, difference. And the last one, the bladder of the chest. So this is uh, the thing that uh, whatever the plans you are satisfied with, you can further test with the help of this MCO tool. And uh, to check yourself for the good quality plan. So we'll go back to the presentation. So you can see the presentation here. Yes, sir. Okay, these are the pub some published paper for the reference, and uh, you can go through on this. So the outcome of my learning is most optimization method required many iteration of plan, which is a time consuming. Conversely, MCU run in a background on the eclipse and give us the group of optimized plan for exploring the trade off as we vary different parameter. Limitation exists within MCO regarding conversion of navigated plans to deliverable plan aperture, particularly for the plan that emphasize avoidance of the critical structure. Using MCO, we have been able to improve our optimization process, creating high quality plan in less time. These are the lines which I took from those papers. Uh, actually, I'm not writing by myself. These are the cut and paste, of course to give the clinician the power to guide the comp comprises necessary for optimal treatment planning and to discuss these trade off with the patient if it's uh, feasible. So that's all from my side. Thank you very much for listening and I can take the questions. Yes, sir, there's a question from a participant. Um, when you were changing the priorities and uh, MCO priority uh, optimization, um, the question is, it's simultaneously calculating doses as you are changing the priorities? Yes, uh, it already calculated all the plans. Uh, as I show you the parieto surface, the plans are created already. So you are just navigating along the plans. So it, it take the doses from those plan and show you automatically. Okay, I have unmuted uh, the participant. They can ask the question at the moment. Hello, Asad. Yes, hello. It's Rahim, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah, so you are always exploring new things, which is good. And uh, now I need to ask you a few questions. Rather, is there any stage where the system can alert you that you are over optimizing? I mean, what is the way forward to find out that the MCO has done over optimization? I mean, how we can find out what are those parameters we need to consider? Well, uh, I think uh, the system uh, itself uh, do the quality assurance right now because once uh, you have chosen your plan uh, and uh, it will allow you to make the plan which is feasible because it created all the plants and you're navigating along those plants. You're not over modulating anything. It is uh, calculating the plants which can be deliverable. And this is our option was uh, already tick during the MCO trade-off. And after what you have, uh, once you complete it, then again, you have seen the window that is uh, calculating the deliverable plan. Yeah, I mean, and, the, the reason uh, I asked. And uh, after uh, completing those plans, uh, which we have delivered till now, and uh, we found that all the portal dosimetry results are okay. And uh, yes, we will further investigate this thing with the point dose and uh, inshallah we'll get Octavius uh, soon. So we'll try to figure it out further. Yeah, yeah, the reason I'm asking that the plan you have shown us, the first one, there was, uh, of course, there was a, a lot of difference between the terms of the DVH to the OR, the doses to the OR. So have you done any comparative analysis just by considering at least one qualitative parameter, there's the number of mules that are done with the MCO and the other, so that determines the level okay. of optimization. Uh, what I've seen that mules are increased a bit. 
in the yeah, VMAP that's, plan. Yes, that's an indication increase. of our optimization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But, and the second, uh, this will more affect an IMRT as yeah. compared to VMAP. Yeah. So a second question is, other than, you know, of course, if you implement any treatment planning algorithm, you need to you know, validate the system. Is there any recommendation from the vendor or by APM or any document which suggests that we need to do these kind of tests before, before implementation? Okay, I haven't looked on this, these lines, so I will check. My third question is regarding your second plan about the sternum. I was okay. worried about the total dose and uh, the, the, the mean hard dose. It's just my curiosity. The physician yeah. was okay with the hard, mean hard dose. Well, it took uh, around uh, two to three weeks to get approval that of patient. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, 26 gray is usually the mean dose. After and a long celebration with the clinicians, peer review, uh, tumor board, then he approved the plan. Yes, I the doses are quite high. Yeah, it's not, if you are talking about the evidence-based practice, I don't know, maybe it's a clinical decision, but it was a bit high. It's a clinical decision, totally. All right. Uh, thanks, Hassan. You're welcome. Sir, we have another question. What kind of modulation factor change do you see after using MCO? Very small, uh, like... If it is uh, four uh, or three in normal plan, it is 0.5, 3.5, not much. In a VMAT, in IMRT, yes, it's high. Sir um, Ahmed from Sathana uh, Memorial Hospital, Lahore. Uh, so I have a question. Yeah. MCO yes. or a uh, 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 yes. uh, uh, MCO में और जो वीमेट की हम यूजल प्लान बनाते हैं इन दोनों में लो डोज रीजन जो है uh, किस तरह से दोनों में डिफरेंशिएट होता है कितना uh, उस पे इफेक्ट आता है नो आई एम नॉट क्लियर अबाउट द क्वेश्चन अगेन प्लीज सर ही इज आस्किंग इन वीमेट एंड एमसीओ व्हाट इफेक्ट डज लो डोज रीजन गेट इन बोथ द प्लांट्स लो डोज रीजन इफेक्ट वेल अहमद द लो डोज इज नॉट एज कंसर्न मच इट्स नॉट अ बिग डिफरेंस um what I have learned with my uh, one year experience only that if you select appropriate arcs and uh, avoidance sector, then uh, you can easily reduce the low dose regions, whether it's normal plan or MCO plan. Even you can reduce uh, the low dose region more as compared to IMRT. Yes, sir, we have another question from a participant. Have you performed any third-party benchmark check before implementation of VMAT? Well, we have done the point-to-point -point check, end-to-end uh, -end test for that, no any third-party check. Yes, uh, recently we uh, done uh, Octavius. We have started Octavius. And uh, with the help of that, that Octavius, we are able to rectify some of the problems and uh, hopefully we'll go further with that. I guess, sir, uh, I have one more question here. Ahmed. Uh, so am I audible now? Yes. Yes. Sir, my question is that when you have a plan for MCO, when you perform the portal dosimetry, what do you think about it? आप जब इसको एनालाइज करते हैं इंडिविजुअल फील्ड्स पे रिलाई करते हैं या फिर कंपोजिट पर या दोनों पर दोनों तरीके से कर सकते हैं हम कंपोजिट भी चेक कर लेते हैं इंडिविजुअल भी चेक कर लेते हैं और इसमें जो डिलीवरेबल प्लान है वो कोई ज्यादा डिफरेंस नहीं होता नॉर्मल वीमेट प्लान से और एमसीयू से मतलब उसमें कोई एज सच ह्यूज डिफरेंस नहीं आता जिसकी वजह से डिलीवरी में कोई प्रॉब्लम हो 
डेट मीन्स के सर जो जितने भी अभी तक प्लान बनाए गए हैं या जिनकी पोर्टल डिस्ट्री आपने परफॉर्म की है उसमें इंडिविजुअल फील्ड कमो बेस्ट सब में उस पर रहे हैं यानी कि वो उसमें ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट फर्स्ट द थिंग इज दैट वट एवर यू आर अचीविंग इन एम सी ओ यू कैन ईजिली नॉट ईजिली बट यू कैन अचीव दैट थिंग ऑन द नॉर्मल वीमेट प्लान इफ ट्राई योर लेवल एंड यू विल फ्लोर एंड टू गिव योर टाइम प्रॉपरली देन यू कैन ईजिली गेट द रिजल्ट ऑन वीमेट एज वेल बट इट इज क्वाइट हैक्टिक एंड यू कैन से दैट after seeing the volumes or overlapping volumes you uh, with your pre 3d crt or imrt you may think that it is not achievable that's why you said that now this day and uh, i will show to the clinician or sometime time problem like physician want to start early so what make you stop or uh, getting the good plan as i show you last example of sv plan there is no big because the first plan is already in uh, optimized quite well so seo is uh, better in the way that you will get uh, uh, knowledge yes i have made okay plan or you may found that okay there is a solution for that so that was better in some of the cases but the algorithm is same of course on both the uh whatever you are uh, going for uh, all right so this makes sense uh, it's clear to me now thank you You're welcome um any other question from the participants or we will proceed with the session Thank you sir Ashwit for such an informative session i guess that's it from the participant side